Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jazz Nicole and I'm here with another video. So in today's video, I am doing a beginner's makeup haul. So I'm really excited because I'm starting to get into makeup and a lot of you all on my Instagram have been asking me to like do some makeup stuff on my page. So why not start with what products to use for beginner makeup? But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the push notification button so you can see when I upload some more videos. So I am not a like expert on makeup. I am still in the beginner phases. So this video is perfect for anyone who is just getting started. Y'all, I do makeup every once in a while. And honestly, up until I went shopping for these products, I was using the wrong products on my face. Y'all, I was looking like a whole fool out here. But either way, I'm gonna get myself right and hopefully get you all right with some new products to add to your makeup collection. So the two places that I got some items from are Sephora and Target. Y'all know I love my Target. So starting off with Target, I got this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. So I got this cleansing water because I need to make sure I had something else when I get this makeup off and I'm learning that this is actually really good. A lot of people have like really sworn by this so I was like let me try it out. And it was only $6.99 at Target so you know hello not expensive. I already have my own skincare routine but this is just kind of like an extra added piece for when I do wear makeup so that way I can get off all the makeup before actually using my cleanser. Which, speaking of skincare, if you want to see my skincare routine, let me know down in the comments and I will happily do a video for you. So the next thing that I got at Target was some mascara. So y'all, I'm gonna be honest, I can't put on lashes. Them false lashes, it's just not for me. So I bought mascara and I bought the CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. So I've actually used this before and I love this mascara because it gives my lashes like a nice extra boost so it's really voluminous. Is voluminous the word? It got a lot of volume. I'm not even gonna try and do that today. But it, it gives my eyelashes a lot of volume and so I have been using this CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara for at least like four or five years. It's definitely my go-to, especially since I want fuller lashes, but because I can't put on false lashes, this, this is the magic right here. So the next two items are actually from a black owned brand, which if you go over to my Instagram, I'll link it down below and put it on the screen. I have been highlighting some black owned products for the month of February for Black History Month. So make sure to go over to my page and check that out. But the products that I got are actually from the lip bar. So the two shades that I got are Savage, which you can see right there, and then Drama Queen is right here and y'all I'm gonna swatch it for you so you can see what these colors look like but I have been hearing so many good things about the lip bar and I was just like let me let me support sis okay I'm about to like swatch it on my hand so y'all can see it's the matte lip lipstick lip gloss I don't know but can you see like it's pretty dark but I prefer darker lippies than I do brighter lippies. So now I'm gonna swatch the Savage Matte Lip Gloss or lipstick. Is it a lip gloss? Like it just says liquid matte. Well, we're gonna say that. So as you can see, the top one is the Savage Lip Matte color. And I really like it. Like it's kind of like a neutral color. So it's definitely something that I can just throw on if I'm not like trying to go for a really bold look like I would do drama queen for like a bold makeup look but I would definitely use savage for a more like everyday kind of kind of like neutral look so the next product that I got is the NYX butter gloss in cinnamon roll so I have heard a lot of people talk about this particular like a butter gloss line they love it and I was looking for a shade that was kind of like more, you know, darker skin friendly. And so a lot of people said that cinnamon roll was a really good one to try. So I'm gonna swatch this one and see. Can y'all see that like at the top? Like that is what the butter gloss looks like. So I'm assuming like, you know, obviously on my lips, it'll probably blend a little bit better, but that's not bad. Like I was a little nervous because in like 
the packaging, it looks bright. So I'm thinking it was about to be a bright color, but I was like, let me trust, let me trust social media, right? <laughs> so if you've used like the NYX Butter Gloss and you know of like a combination lip liner that will go well with cinnamon roll, drop it in the comments down below. Okay, now we're moving on to Sephora. Before I get started on Sephora, one, are you subscribed to my channel? Go ahead and hit that button. I know you want to. And two, why y'all didn't tell me it's a setup walking into Sephora? Like, I'm glad I came in with like what I wanted in mind because if not, I would have bought the whole store and I would not feel no regret from that. So the first thing that I got is the foundation. I got the Sephora Best Skin Ever um, Long Wear Foundation. This one, I got it in the shade 0245A. I'll like try to link it down below for you all. So you can see so with this foundation I wanted something that I can kind of wear like almost every day and get like an everyday look nothing too crazy bold like it's something that's gonna liven up my face without doing too much and so when I did like the tester on my face it matched perfectly it was doing what I needed to do so you know what matter of fact if y'all want me to do like a makeup tutorial video not tutorial because I don't know how to do makeup but if y'all want to see that let me know down in the comments and I can do that for you and I can show you all how this works out so the next thing that I wanted to get was a concealer and so I got the Sephora bright future gel serum concealer and I got it in the shade 16 for me, concealers have always been too bright and I've been struggling to find the concealer that, you know, would just, it would do what it's supposed to do. Like, I'm still learning about all this makeup stuff, but I know, like, with my concealer, what I wanted it to do. And so I tried this on, um, like, the little tester and I felt like it was going to match perfectly with that foundation. So next, we're moving on to bronzer. Let me tell y'all a story about these bronzers. So... I told sis, I was like, I want a bronzer that's just gonna like warm, like add warmth to my face. Nothing too crazy, right? So she's like, I got you, sis, I got you. I was like, okay, cool, yes, yay. So we walk over to the Fenty, I'm like, yes, okay, Fenty, I've been wanting to try something from Fenty, perfect opportunity to do this. So she pulls out the perfect, oh my gosh, y'all, the perfect, perfect bronzer for my face. And I forgot the shade color, of course, right? Either way, so I'm like, oh, this is perfect. This is doing exactly what I needed to do. I was like, sis, how much is this? She was like, $30. I said, excuse me? I love you, Rihanna, I do. And I promise you, I will support Fenty when I have the money, but I did not have $30 to spend on a bronzer that day. But I got the Sephora bronzer, if you can see that. And I got it in the shade, that's a good question, where the shade at? I got it in the shade 606 Ibiza. Is that it? I think so. But it's a modern bronzing powder with a creamy texture and buildable soft matte finish. So I don't know what all that means to be honest, but I'm assuming it's going to do what I wanted to do. <laughs> so the next thing I wanted to get into was some like brow stuff. I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Skinny Brow Pencil. And so I wanted something that I can like use to not really fill in because I feel like my brows are pretty thick, but more so outline them and kind of give them some shape. So I'm hoping that like this Brow Wiz pencil will do it. And I got it in the shade Ebony. So we were torn between another shade and this one. And like this one is perfect. It's going to do exactly what I need to do on these eyebrows. And honestly, I'm more inclined to do my eyebrows every day than I would be a full face of makeup. The next thing that I got from Sephora was this Benefit Gimme Brow Blowout. So this is like supposed to be like the brow gel to help like lay everything down and make sure it stays, you know, where it's supposed to stay. And funny enough, the color that I wanted, so I got it in the, br the cool black brown. And I was really sad because the individual one was sold out. And I was like, dang, because it was really, I think it was on sale actually. And then sis brought out this little one and it's like, you get a free mini one. So I got two for the price of one essentially. And I was like, okay, yes. I'm really, really, yeah, I'm so excited. Like I'm happy now that I finally got makeup that is like matching what I want to see, like what I envision my makeup looking like every day. So stay tuned y'all, I'm gonna come with the heat. I just feel it, I'm speaking it into existence. In the comments down below, let me know how much you think I spent in Sephora. Your girl spent a pretty penny in there, okay? Even with like the Sephora brand stuff, child, listen. 
but also in the comments let me know what are some other good products to try for beginners when um, with makeup thank you all for watching this video and staying till the end make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel until next time bye Thank you.